Hey guys, this is Josh. I was just reaching out from Akubato theme customization because I've had a lot of people ask um, with some of these issues updating Akubato by default and um, wondering how to update the theme. There's typically two solid ways you can do it. So when you go into Akubato Manager and it tells you there's an update, you can do the update now and it will attempt to install the newest version possible. Um, if it errors, there's only two ways you can handle it. Typically, it'll give you a download link so you can download this version, or you can go to Income School on their website. And when you go into their website, when you go to Akubato, you can actually go to download and install as long as you're signed in, and you'll be able to download what they have listed as the newest version. Um, as you'll note, the version that they have there right now is 1.1.7, which isn't obviously the version that's available for you to update to right now. So what you can do is <clears throat> get this download because you're going to need this no matter what. And I have told them that it's missing, so I'm hoping it'll be updated soon. And then you can go into your themes and you can come in here and switch over and activate another theme. That way you can delete Akubato and then upload the new one and that way you can replace it then switch back over so you'd have to come over here and go to activate which then would allow you to come over here because you can't delete the active server theme so you come in here wait for this one to activate once the swap is over obviously it's gonna mess up your site because now it's gonna be in that other theme but this will be over here so you can go into here and you can delete this will delete it off the server. Now you can add new and you can install it again. So we'll just go ahead and download. Actually, we'll install. Let's do this. So if anyone has questions, you can go into previous versions and pull other versions in. So what we'll do is go to upload. We'll upload 1.6 and install. So once it installs, then you'll want to do activate again. So if you do it this method, you're going to have to go switch themes so you can deactivate it, so you can delete it, so that you can upload a new version and activate it again. And then you're going to get this, so you'll want to dismiss because you don't care about that part. Um, the other way is you can actually add a plugin. And the, the plugin's right here, which is just easy theme and plugin upgrades. So when you're in here, what you'll notice is um, when you try to do an upload of a plug or of a theme or a plugin that's already existing, it'll tell you that it already exists and it won't let it work. Um, you can use this one, and basically this just allows you to upload them without removing the previous one before. <clears throat> so, in doing that, now you can go over to your appearance, go to themes and you can actually go add new now we're going to upload and we're going to choose that 1.17-4 version right normally this would error but with that plugin installed it just allows it to pass through for you getting it up and running and then you can do the activate again and be back up and running again without having to do the deactivate on the other um, theme to swap yourself over so if you don't keep extra themes on your site, then this is probably much faster. And this way you don't have to keep other themes on here because I know a lot of people just have Akubato in here, which means if you were gonna swap the other way, you'd have to go in here, find a theme to install the theme to give yourself an up and running website on a different theme while you did the swap. Whereas this way, the, to your users, it was invisible. And again, all that uses is just this one plugin, which is uh, easy theme and plugins. So right here, I'll put a link in the video description, but once you're done with this, you can just deactivate it and keep it in case you ever need to use it again, or you can delete it and just always come back to the video or just uh, remember what the um, plugin was. So this way you can come in and grab it again when you need it the next time. And this way it'll keep you up and running all the time with the site. And just for those people who are anxious, the, the all of the data is kept in the in the database it's not kept in the theme itself so you can uninstall the theme 
do whatever you want to do, put the theme back, and everything will be back where it was before because this is all stored inside the database itself. So it's never lost. It just is uh, plausibly not used the same way in another theme. So this way you can get everything up and running. I hope this helps everybody and gets everybody up and running with an easier time than uh, the previous updates and where people have been asking how to, how to manage it. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And I hope to be back here soon with another video. I appreciate everything. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.